Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I write for Guns of the Old West magazine and for Combat Handguns magazine. And today we're out here at the range and we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do some experimenting. Uh, I brought a bunch of stuff to shoot at, and we're going to see what's fun to shoot and what looks good to shoot on video. So we can use it in future gun tests. So uh, in case you're getting tired of seeing me shoot the same old things, we'll try a few different things today and we'll see how they work out. Now we're going to be shooting with two different guns, and I'll show you those. Well, my original plan was to do all of this in one video, but it just ended up being too long. So this first installment is all going to be shooting water bottles. And the next installment will be shooting various kinds of produce. So I think they're both going to be fun, and uh, some things were duds, and some things were pretty spectacular. Today we're going to be using this 1911 and 45 ACP and this European American Armory Witness in 10 millimeter. Now, this 1911 I call my Franken Colt because, like Frankenstein's monster, it's pieced together out of a bunch of unrelated body parts. The slide and frame started off on a 1911 made in the Philippines by Shooter's Arms manufacturer's Sam in Kazon City and I had the steel on this test it is very good. For the barrel and bushing I used a match barrel and bushing set made by CART uh, and I got these from Brownells. I also replaced the rear sight with an Ed Brown uh, Bomar style rear sight and the hammer and sear are from cylinder and slide and just to top it all off it's got Remington 1911 grips on it so so this is the Franken Colt the Franken gun the uh, the EAA steel witness is also a bit of a Franken gun this started off as a standard witness which I didn't like in 10 millimeter and uh, I had EAA put an Elite Upper on it, which really is better for 10 millimeter. And this also, uh, and I had them put the extended ambidextrous safeties because this gun, unlike most double actions, can be carried cock or not, which is exactly the way I prefer to use it. So these are the two guns we're going to be shooting, and let's go get some targets out and see how they do. Well, let's start off with something familiar. We've got the two liter bottles set up, two liter water bottles, and we'll try to pop it with the 1911. Not exactly what I expected. Well, we drilled one of them pretty righteous, but let's get the one that fell down. So this will be take two for the 1911. Let's see what the, uh, the 10 millimeter witness can do to the two liter water bottles. <laughs> and the answer is it whacks the snot out of them. I get a lot of complaints that two liter bottles are just too easy to hit. And I'm sure those complaints come from people who are much better shots than me, because I don't think they're that easy. But let's put a one liter out and see if we can uh, whack it with the 1911.
got it. Now, these are, you can see them, these are my lead bullet hand loads, and they they are not really rocking loads. I mean, they're, they're like mid-range target loads, you know? So it's not making those bottles jump all that much. Hey, that last bottle was just plain tap water with food coloring in it. This bottle is a one liter bottle of seltzer water. So let's see if that gives a more impressive result here with the 45. And the answer is, yeah! Okay, let's, uh, let's take the 10 millimeter and put that on a one liter bottle of tap water, see what the results look like. You gotta love that 10 millimeter. Well, the 10 millimeter looked pretty impressive on plain tap water. So let's see how it looks on the seltzer water. Wax it. Well, I'm sure that some of you Annie Oakleys and Allen Oakleys out there probably think those one liter bottles are too easy to hit. <laughs> so, I've got some eight ounce club soda bottles. I've dyed them so it'll show up better. So, they're under some pressure. And uh, let's see if I can hit them. Can't make any promises though. Okay, well that's not the way I wanted to get to, so let me set one back up. Well, it took two tries, but I got them. I'll take that. Okay, bottle number one with the 45 ACP. I just grazed. That's what you call lucky. However, bottle number two had <laughs> blown to crap. Blew the whole top right off of it. I love that. Well, we saw how the 45 ACP handled those little 8 ounce pony bottles of club soda. So let's take the, uh, the 10 millimeter witness out and see if that'll make them blow. Now to be honest with you. The main challenge for me is just in hitting these things. They're really not that big. <laughs> Got it. All right, let's let's set up number 2. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love 10 millimeter. Stay tuned for part two of this series, where we'll be shooting produce.